Christmas. Hi everyone, welcome back. <laughs> Happy Saturday. I have had an extremely eventful day. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. Um, but we're gonna play some Sims today and uh, do some building because we got to finish the build from yesterday. Also, I bought a wedding dress earlier. I know. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. <laughs> I wanted to uh, drop that one real quick for the early chat, but um, yeah. I didn't think I was gonna buy a dress today, but then I did. I don't know. Ooh. <laughs> it's kind of exciting. Um, oh, Sims 2 theme, go away. Wait, why is it on the screen like that? It went away. Sorry everybody, it's gone now. <laughs> How was shopping? It was good. It was not as scary as I thought it was gonna be. So that was a huge win. Um, and I ended up buying a dress. I bought the third dress that I tried on. And then I tried on, I maybe tried on like, I don't even know, like seven, I think. I can't remember. Some of them were flops. So, <laughs> one of the dresses I tried on, the lady who worked there, um, she was like, oh, oh, we just got this one in. I haven't seen it on a bride yet. I, let's just try it. Even though you don't like it, let's just try it. It was $12,000. I didn't buy it, obviously. I didn't even like that one. But she put me in a $12,000 dress. I said, um, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. It wasn't, I didn't like it. It had like a really deep, like plunging V-neck. Um, and it like, it was all lace, but it looked kind of like leaves. It wasn't my vibe. I would never have picked that one, but I put it on $12,000. No, <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> no way, <laughs> but I don't really want a V-neck. I wouldn't buy that. Um, I would never have picked that for myself. Um, it's still fun to try though. Like you may as well, when given the opportunity, why not? You know, <laughs> it was heavy. It was heavy and poofy, like really big. Um, so that was kind of fun to try on too. So for 12K, I feel like the most perfect dress in the world. Yeah, seriously, and it was not for me. It was not, I was not the target audience of that dress. It wasn't like a princess dress, no. It was, um, it was a little poofy, but not like that. It was all lace, um, but it had quite a big skirt. So anyway, it was pretty, but <laughs> it was kind of fun to try on. Um, obviously I did not buy that one, <laughs> so. Okay, where were we building? In this save, I believe? Let us go and find out. Um, <laughs> you and lace are not the best of friends. Imagine you would hate it. I My dress is kind of lacy, but not like that one lacy. I won't show you. I should stop talking about it because I'm not going to show you. Um, but anyway, that was my big exciting drama day today. So <laughs> it was quite fun. What dress are we talking about? Oh, I went wedding dress shopping today and I did in fact buy a wedding dress. I didn't think I was going to, but I did. Do mods get to see? I don't know. The only person I showed was Hope. I literally haven't even showed my other friends yet. I, I said, to you guys earlier, I said we have like a group chat of me and some of the Sims girlies, like like um, Steph and Sasha and everybody. And I told them I was going and I was gonna try on dresses today. And then I didn't say anything else yet until like, even now I haven't said anything else since then in the group chat. This morning I said I'm gonna try on dresses and then I was busy in there and then my phone was gonna die So I was like, I'll just wait till I get home But then my mom and I sat and talked for a while so I didn't send it to them yet So I haven't showed anyone yet <laughs> I only showed hope, sorry <laughs> uh, But maybe I'll show some of the mods, I don't know I won't show you guys, it's not safe Eventually, but not yet <laughs> You gotta wait till next year, literally <laughs> Where am I building? Lost Moonwood Mill. There you go. Um, this is in fact the correct place. <laughs> Can we see the 12K dress? I don't like it. I the problem is I gotta make sure because um, it had kind. It's it's more like a. I'm, am I too uncomfortable to show you that one? Because it had kind of like a plunging V neck, and I don't know if because you can see the bra that I was wearing under it, and that makes me feel a little bit shy. So I don't know if I want to show you the one that was, I guess I can show it to you. Hold on. Um, I will show you the dress that was $12,000. Obviously, again, I did not buy this dress. It was just, they wanted me to try it on because it was new, but I can show, it's not too bad. I can show it to you. It's not as bad as I remembered it. This is one that I did not buy. 
It's pretty. You guys, it was so heavy. And I would, I would never buy a dress like this. Like, I don't want the full lacy sleeves. I didn't like the v-neck. And it was so heavy. Um, but it was $12,000. <laughs> I was telling Chad a second ago um, that the person in the store, they were like, we just got this one in. We haven't seen anybody in it yet. Um, like, do you want to try it on? You want to try it on? And then I was like, I mean, I'll try it on. I'm not going to buy it, but like, I'll try it on. Um, and you can see how it'd be heavy, right? And it's, it was like impossible to walk in because it was so, but it's kind of fun to try on a fancy dress like that, you know? Um, I look so tall. Yeah, there's actually, you can't tell, but I'm standing on a platform. It's like maybe this tall of a platform or something that they, that I'm standing on. This dress was like quite long. So, um, I am standing on something. Um, yeah, it's like a photo shoot kind of dress. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but anyway, this is one of the ones that I tried on and didn't buy. This is actually the first one I tried on, but I would never, I would never buy this. I would never buy a dress for $12,000. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. You know, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> um, I don't even know who the designer was. I don't remember. Um, it didn't, I wasn't like one that I was interested in. Like I just put it on cause she said I should try it, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's not really my vibes. Um, no, my sister didn't, we didn't buy any bridesmaid dresses. We didn't try on any bridesmaid dresses or anything. Only I was trying on dresses today. Um, which ones did I buy? Oh, I won't show you. I won't show you. Um, but imagine spilling red wine on a 12K dress. Don't even like put that out there. I'm just picturing like, you have to like walk outside for photos and stuff. And obviously like any wedding dress you have to do this in and it, all wedding dresses are kind of expensive, but like it, the thought of like walking around outside <laughs> to get your photos and you're like dragging this $12,000 dress in the dirt. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no, that one is way too much money. I can't believe people spend money on that. I was joking with my sister because, um, you know how on that show, Say Yes to the Dress, they come in and they're like, yeah, my budget's like $30,000. And this is in like 2008. <laughs> and I remember as a child watching that show, I'd be like 10 years old watching it. And they'd come in and be like, yeah, my budget's like 9,000. And I'd be like, oh, cheap, <laughs> cheap dress, <laughs> gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a $9,000 dress, but like I on the show, they were all like $25,000. So, and I was a child. Like I, what do you know about how much wedding dresses cost? Um, but I'd be like sat there nine years old, judging these people for their cheap dress. <laughs> and I've watched like, I've watched like that four weddings TV show. Oh my God. Judging them. <laughs> No, you can't tick all your boxes for 10K at Kleinfeld. No, you cannot, apparently. <laughs> yeah, they really made it seem like that was just normal. Obviously, I was so young, I didn't know anything about weddings. Like, I didn't know anything about that. It's like a figment of your imagination when you're that young, you know? <laughs> you don't know anything about how any of that works. But I would never spend $9,000 on a wedding dress. Are you kidding? Like, no, 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 no. Le less than half that, you know, like too much, too much. Um, let me try and quickly catch up with the subs really fast and then we can start building. How about that? Um, Deodora and Sam and Little and Dorty and Alice and Beep. We also got Harriet and Moonrose and Bookworm and Hey Dog and Taze and Ray and Fluffer. Flower Puffle, not Fluffer. <laughs> Why did I say that? Who's Fluffer? It literally says flower underscore Puffle. I said Fluffer, sorry. Then you put four months. Also Fabricated, and Crack Attack, and Tiza, and Macklin, and Piney, and Witty. Also Kate, and Stargazer, and Anna, and Angela, and Kate, uh, and Soro, and Sid, and Webb, and Mandy, and Tails, and Tangerine, and Marley, and uh, Pi, and Ty, and Ember, and, and Bean, and Britt, and Hulakian, and Meg, and Claire. Oh my god, how much did I miss? Also Happy Flower, and Wizard, Christine with the 70 months, Dev, and Landon, and Cozy, and Chloe, and Tara, and Sushi, and Tabby, and Brianna. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, you know what I can show you? I, I won't show any show you any more that I tried on myself, but I'll show you one I saw on Pinterest. Um, that is the vibes that I like. And the dress that I bought isn't that. Um, it's also cheaper than the one on Pinterest, but I'll show you the one that I thought was pretty. Um, and 
were the vibes that I liked. So, so you can get an idea. Something like this. I like the neckline. I like the sleeves. Um, something kind of like this. So now you understand what we're going for. But I won't show you the exact one I bought. It was not this one. <laughs> uh, but I think this is so pretty. This one. <laughs> Jump scare. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like, I think this kind of thing is pretty. So something kind of like this is what I was going for. Um, but anyway. <laughs> I'm so excited. So fun. And now to our beautiful werewolf house. So. <laughs> Proposing to your girlfriend soon? Oh, that's so exciting. I was so happy for you. Where'd my water go? Oh, sorry. Behind my monitor. <laughs> I put it over there for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Now we are good to begin, I believe. Um, now we are good to begin. Okay. So if you were not here yesterday, let me show you around quickly. We are currently building a little werewolf house. Um, it's kind of inspired by that sort of like old factory energy that like this lot has, you know? Um, but we're going for house vibes. Um, so on the inside, it's got most of this area, the like living kitchen dining room is finished. Um, we've got this kind of cool living room over here. Um, we've got this dining table and the kitchen set up back here. I like these cool bookshelf dividers in between. Um, here's the front door. We've got like this hallway. I'm still working on this. Then we have the bathroom. This is going to be an office, obviously still working on this. Um, upstairs, there's like a lofted bedroom area that we're going to try and do. Uh, they've got an ensuite bathroom and a balcony up here. And then in the basement, this is going to be a gym. This is going to be like a guest room. Um, downstairs we'll have like a guest bed. Maybe we'll do like a Murphy bed so we can have like an extra TV down there or something. Um, and then this is going to be the werewolf room where you lock them when they're rampaging. So <laughs> that's where we're at. <laughs> when the first part will get posted to more Simsy. Um, on Tuesday, I will post it on YouTube is what I have written down in my schedule. Uh, if you wanted to, you can watch the the first half. I just streamed it yesterday, so you can watch it on Twitch immediately. Um, so, anyway. You're making werewolf jail? Yeah, I am. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> um, okay, also K10 and Foopal and Primal and Reese and Princess and Awkward and Avery and Watch and Sorbet. Uh, also, C, thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, it's not just base game and werewolves, no. We've used quite a few packs in here. We're actually building this for one of my friends and Twitch mods. You might see, you might see C in the chat. Um, but they have all the packs, so we've been given free reign to kind of do whatever with this one. Um, so we are not limiting packs on this house. Uh, there's actually, unfortunately, quite a few happening in here so uh and the budget i think c was talking about the budget being somewhere around like two hundred thousand, which is plenty big <laughs> that is like plenty of money um and so right now the house costs like sixty nine thousand, and most of the most expensive stuff has been bought already so it's not going to be too bad maybe like 100k um, so we should be okay. 69k. Nice. <laughs> nice. All right. I'm gonna try and put some additional lighting. I think I might get the tall one. Because that looks kind of cool right there, I would say. Um, I was putting this because I kind of liked the vibes of, like, a games table to give us something more interesting going on in here. But... I don't know if it's cool or not, so I might have to mess with this a little bit more in the hallway. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, how's your day been, chat? <laughs> Anything eventful happened this weekend for you? Anything exciting going on? I would be curious to know. Um, you like the game table? Yeah, I kind of like it too. I think the game tables are really useful in The Sims. Um, so, like, if it were me, I would kind of want to have it, I think. So... Um, professors keep emailing you? Oh, boo. Boo. That's no fun. 
You've watched five Disney movies today. That's fun, Christine. What's the, what's the uh, the winner so far? What's the best one you've seen today? Um, what am I looking for? Desert Lux, I think. No, what am I saying? Industrial Loft. I wanted to look at one of the things like this. Yellow. Oh, that's good. Moana, obviously. Yeah, that's a good one. You can't go wrong with that one. It's too good. Ran errands, got food with your grandma. Oh, very fun, very fun. Does anybody have any Super Bowl plans? Tomorrow is Super Bowl. Uh, my plan is to go to my parents' house because uh, that's just what I do, I guess. <laughs> it's tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> it is tomorrow. Um, you watch the Puppy Bowl, nice, nice. Yeah, I'm not really the biggest um, football fan, <laughs> but I think it's fun to watch, you know, special events and stuff. Your plan is to stick food in the crock pot and you hope you feel well enough to watch for a bit. Yeah, that's a, that's a solid plan though, Christine. I think you've got the right idea. I think that'll be good. Do you like those lights like that? Cause I'm kind of into that, I think. I feel like that's pretty. Um, okay. You mean the Usher concert? Yep. <laughs> I like to see, um, the commercials are fun too, you know? <laughs> Lil and Shannon and August and Leon and Ruthless, thank you for the subs. Um, okay, let me see about the industrial loft kit again, because I'm kind of thinking that it might be fun for us to try and get a few more little bits of, I don't know, like pipes and stuff put in. Cause that helps with the factory energy that we're going for, you know? We can mix and match stuff like that. Oh, maybe I'll put this in the corner. Oh, that helps with the corner, I think. We can move the photos. Okay. Type dream. Good. Maybe I'll put them over here as well. Might be too much, who knows. I kind of like them though. Oh, there's one in both corners now, never mind. That's too much for sure. <laughs> Sorry. Good idea in theory, maybe too much in practice. Is there going to be a giveaway? I don't have a giveaway plan for today, no. Um, m the answer to that question is, most times, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, on an average day, I don't usually have giveaway codes for a stream. Um, I am so sorry. Okay. I think that I want to try and get something like this happening across some of the, because this is just like open to the downstairs. So we may as well try and make this a bit more interesting too, I say, right? Try and step it up a little bit. I don't know. That's cool. It does make the top floor look way more interesting, right? Um, okay. <laughs> Tegan, as a Canadian, the thing you know about Super Bowl is that it's red versus red Taylor's version playing. Yeah, that sounds about right. I was quite sad when the other team, um, turned out to be red also, because I find that very confusing. <laughs> also Dalton and Kim and Lozi and Kiki, thank you for the subs. Um, okay, I like this. I feel like that's helpful. Makes it very interesting. Also, you don't like red. Yeah, that doesn't help. I'm not a big fan of red. So it's not really helping with the situation, is it? Um, hmm. What do we want to put on this wall? Part of what threw us the other day, or the other day is yesterday, but part of what threw us yesterday is that we didn't really know what we wanted to do with the rest of this wall. I think that's like a bit much, but maybe the colors are cool there. That's what I'm not really sure about, you know? Your blue not so berry sim just died right now, uh-oh. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. That's no good. Genuinely, I'm sorry about that. It's it's hard when that happens to your Sims. You like it? Okay. That's good. Um, put the statue that costs 12,000 simoleons in the entryway? You think so? Maybe I could try and put a different color, like maybe there could be a... No, all of the painted brick is not good enough for me. The light on the top floor is now not centered with the table. Yeah, I moved it over on purpose because of how we had the, um, the vents. I thought it was like a little bit close to the vents. Um, but if it really bothers you, vents, whatever, ducks, it, if it really bothers you, we can move it back. I'm not like that worried about it because you can't really even see it. You know? Um, so C was saying green, yellow, and brown are the primary color schemes in this building. Ooh. That darker green, I think is way cooler. Like way, 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 way cooler for the interior. That matches the chairs better, right? I think so. Maybe I'll use the same Oh, no, maybe the brick should continue on this wall, too. I don't think I want this one to have the caution stuff on it. I don't know if I like this rug either, but we'll see. Yeah, I think it actually looks kind of good there. I think it works with what we have on the wall, too. So we can see about that. I'll see about the upstairs as well. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um... Do you think that this room feels like full enough? A part of what was throwing me also was this rug. I felt like the rug maybe wasn't, wasn't good enough or whatever. Um, let me look at some of these swatches of this one. This one doesn't really, it won't fit with the colors that we have. See, that might be okay though. Unless maybe that's just better for this room generally, because that has the green and then the yellow. Kind of gives animal pelt. Oh no. Oh my god. If you think the fur rug gives animal pelt, then we 100% cannot use that in this room. <laughs> we cannot build a werewolf house that has a rug that seems like animal pelt. <laughs> That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. <laughs> that simply absolutely will not do. No way. Um, you loved the fur? Okay. We're getting some sort of mixed signals here about it. Like the yellow doors and windows? Yeah, I kind of like the yellow doors and windows too. I think they're cool. I actually think that this one wouldn't be too bad, but maybe it's a bit small. I don't know. You know what we could do maybe is look at the laundry day stuff and try to steal Something like that. Cause that we are using something similar over there. Hmm. I think that might be okay. I don't know if it's better or worse. Again, sometimes with this stuff, it helps to just look at it. Like sometimes you just gotta sit there and look at it for a bit and then it kinda starts to work and come together. I am a little bit tempted to try and put in some extra decor. That's really selling the whole green and yellow thing. I don't know. Season's puddle of fabric rug? Oh, the, I almost said the octopus. The avocado, the avocado rug. It's in fact not an octopus. Not even close to being an octopus. I don't know what I was talking about just then. This one is the avocado rug that we speak of. <laughs> Listen, judgment free zone. Okay, chat, judgment, whoa. Talk about an animal pelt. Eh, I don't know if the colors actually work that nicely with this. Unless we went for like that reddish color. 
on purpose. I don't think the zebra is good. I don't think that we should put a zebra pelt in here. I think that would be bad for the zebra. I, I do think that that kind of like ties a lot of the stuff that we have in here together. I like the shape. I'm not sure about the pattern, but there's also a degree of like, I want it to be kind of chaotically patterned in here. So I don't really mind too much. We can get some more of these lights up on that wall too. I do like the lights that we've been using in here. I think these are kind of cool. It looks like steak. Oh no. <laughs> it looks like steak. Okay. Preferred the other one to the steak rug. Yeah, I, look, I'll admit that this one is kind of weird. Like generally speaking, this build is kind of weird and it's definitely different than what I am used to and what I would normally pick. Um, but there's a level of like that being, I think, intentional. I kind of want it to be different than what I would usually pick or go for, you know? Um, also, we're building this for my friend and they like it. At least they're saying they like it. <laughs> they could very easily change their minds and be lying right now. Cause if someone was making me a build, I'd be like, yes, it's so good. Use that rug, yeah. But inside I'd be like, you know? So who knows what actually is being thought right now, but <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Also, Pleadle and Weird and Witch and Ninja and Ashley, thank you for the subs. Um, I am not a liar. Okay, good, good. Glad to hear it. All right. So desk wise, this is gonna be the office. We're going for like, no, not the vibes. I might use the werewolf stuff. Good to have an excuse to use the werewolf's desk because I actually think this one is like kind of interesting. Although this one has a book to like hold it up, which is also kind of interesting and cool. Maybe that could work. Um. If you were a werewolf, frog chair? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Wedding chair? No, I don't think so. Um. No, no. The frog chair is kind of good, but it, the frog chair, it lets be truthful, okay? The frog chair is not really a like, desk chair vibe. That one could be interesting. Um, okay, we can use a kind of expensive computer. And then frog chair and kids room. We actually don't even have a kids room in this house, believe it or not. There is no kids room here. Okay, I think that's kind of nice though. I do think I like that. Maybe if you were a werewolf, would you have like a fish tank? <laughs> Serious question. Would you get one? I feel like a fish tank might be kind of cool, but they would also come and like block the, um, they'd be like a little bit in front of the windows. We could put fish up, oh no. Maybe they have a fish bowl, a singular fish bowl. Oh, maybe they like fishing. No. <laughs> Rainbow Vibrant, thank you for the subs. Oh no. Chat, it's not going that well. I also think that I'm kind of overdoing it with the lights. One of them does like fishing. Oh my God, one of them likes fishing. Okay. Oh, everyone, important announcement. One of the mods, Tori, birthday. So, happy birthday, Tori. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day. Mod birthday, mod birthday. <laughs> this is a big day chat. Um, 
Should we just do a singular fishbowl then? I don't know. It's kind of boring. But it might be cool. It's hard to say. Uh oh, sorry for yawning. My bad, chat. My bad. Um, I also don't really think that these curtains have the appropriate energy, you know? And there's not a lot of wall space out here. Oh, maybe the fishbowl could go on a shelf. Oh my gosh, it actually does go on the shelf. Okay, that could be good. I wonder if we could go into debug and get some like fish stuff to mount on the wall. Cause we could get like a literal fish. I don't know, like a mounted Luna fish. That's the werewolves one. That could be a nice touch. Yeah, these shelves are from werewolves. I need to try and go through and get some clutter in them to make it seem a bit more like it's not, I don't know. I feel like right now it's kind of too samey. <laughs> we need to get some stuff in there to help split it up. Um, so some things like some boxes might be good too. The boxes come in yellow. I kind of want to like, let me just place those there. I kind of want to put a box like way up here and use it to cover one of those paintings. You can kind of see it clipping, but I say we just ignore it. Cause if you can, if you can hide it just a smidge, I feel like that's for the best. Okay. Maybe. Can we flip the middle shelf maybe? Oh, we could do that too. Oh yeah. And maybe I could put, wait, hold on. Can I move you over? I guess you probably shouldn't do that still, never mind. We can flip it and then it's looking a little bit different, not as obvious. And once we have some clutter in there, it should help to, to make it seem fine. Oh, I was looking at all green clutter, wasn't I, a second ago? Peppa Pig? What about a dog toy? We could put some dog toys. I actually wouldn't be opposed to that. I was thinking earlier about putting one of these in the living room, but I've kind of made it too busy, haven't I? I don't know. An octopus. <laughs> Here's where we can get the octopus we talked about. Oh, you know what I love is this thing. I think that item is so cute. Oh, we can put dog toys in the rage room. That'll be good. Yeah, that's a good question, Christine. I wonder what happens to Peppa if you don't have the Peppa CC that I have. Like, what do you think the game would choose to replace Peppa with if not the literal Peppa CC? Um, yeah, so Toto, we, we are gonna play the baby challenge, but only after we finish this. Um, we want to try and work on this build and, and get somewhere with this first, because we started this yesterday, but haven't finished it yet, so. Um, the original plan was to do baby challenge today, but then somebody, not naming any names, had some, uh, anxiety problems on Thursday and had to cancel stream. Um, <laughs> I'm talking about me. So we uh, are behind on the build that we were working on and we haven't finished it yet. So, okay. Get another little hanging plant because that's always kind of nice to have too. I like a lot of plants. I think those are good. What gave you the idea to do a werewolf house? Oh, uh, simply the demands of my Twitch mods. really and truly uh, at the demand of the mods. <laughs> Not all of them. A collection of the mods <laughs> made demands and I had no choice but to uh, give in to them, if you will. So that's kind of where we're at. I kind of like that with the orangey color in the corner. 
I don't know. This was mostly Tilly and also C. I have other build demands, namely the Spencer Kim Lewis house. <sighs> Christine, you gotta stop talking about the Spencer Kim Lewis house. It's, it's distressing to simply even hear about the Spencer Kim Lewis house, in my humble opinion. Oh, that is vibrant. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> Mm, I don't really like any of those. I have tried and it's horrible and you're better than me. Yeah, maybe one day I'll give it a try again, but it's a rough one doing their house, that's for sure. Okay, where is your little desk clutter, werewolves? Where did you put it? Okay, maybe... Yeah, this stuff is fun. Oh no, put that like there and then have that one closer. How about that? Maybe I could get them a plant on it too. Don't renovate it, just rebuild it. Yeah, I guess when we gave up last time, it's because we were trying to renovate it. But maybe if I built it again, I don't know. Or I could try to renovate it, who knows. We'll, we'll see, I might give it a try again at some point. I'm not ready for that yet though. It's very um, alarming. It's a bulldoze? Yeah, it might be. Someone asked if I've used the basement kit stuff yet, and not really. We have not really used the basement kit stuff yet. Oh, let's put some board games for them in this area. Maybe I'll put that one higher up. Um, do you want to come in green? Perhaps? Oh, they could have some trophies down at the bottom, old stuff. Okay. Okay. What else do you think we need? Maybe I could put some like, no, I don't really like that. It's not the same color brick. I'm not sure how much else to put into the office. I'm worried about overdoing it. Let me look at their bedroom before we get too ahead of ourselves, yeah? Let's think about this for a second longer. So we're going for this like yellow and green energy. I kind of want to use that color. Um, and then maybe we could try and look at all sorts of cute decor. I don't know, like these nightstands. Stuff like that. Yeah, the mods are plotting. I'm trying not to think about it too much. The mods are always plotting. So, um, why are the sub badges fish? No, it's not because of Finding Nemo. It It's kind of just because they're cute. I probably, at some point I should get some new sub badges. I haven't commissioned new ones in a long time. Um, I don't really know what I would switch them to at this current moment in time. It's more so because like we have these cat emotes and it's like haha cats and fish. I don't know. Um, but it's, I don't know. <laughs> I do love this rug actually. I think this rug is so good. Maybe that could be used again because you can't see both the places at the same time. So Peppa Pig, pigs, oh no. The, the fun part, um, like people have a lot of ideas that are that are all very fun and good, but part of the fun of the emotes, or the, sorry, of the fish sub badges, is that fish can be like rainbowified quite easily. Um, and I like the rainbow energy. I wouldn't make them into plum bobs because I'm not trying to sell the Sims logo. Um, you don't want to be getting in trouble like that. I don't think that you're supposed to put Using a plumb bob for like free stuff, you probably won't get in trouble, but I think that trying to use the plumb bob and then put it behind a paywall is asking for trouble with the Sims team. So I wouldn't uh, recommend anybody do plumb bob uh, sub badges or anything like that. Um, so anyway, <laughs> not such a good idea, unfortunately. Um, would be cool, but probably not the best plan. Um, would love cat colors. Yeah, but the thing is, I love, like, the rainbow energy, so that's why I wouldn't want to change it to be, like, some people do, like, little plants. I thought about, like, flowers or something also. That's always an idea. I don't know. I'm not really in the market to, to buy new ones. I like mine right now, but 
maybe someday, you know? Um, okay, I think... You like the fish? Yeah, I like the fish too. I think they're cute, but anyway. Strawberries? Yeah, for a while, because I have like all the strawberries in my YouTube banner. For a while, I was thinking about doing them all like different fruits. Like it's a strawberry, it's a cherry, it's a whatever, but I don't know. I think that doing like the same thing in different colorways is easier to have a wide variety of them. Um, Cause there's so many, but anyway. Oh, I probably do want to save. That's a good idea. <laughs> you might be onto something with that one. <laughs> That's a good call. <laughs> Um, I had this there before. It's not as, I don't know. It's kind of plain, but it might be good. Um, also this part is very ick. Any idea when Among Us will be this month? No, we haven't decided an exact day yet. We know that, um, I'll tell you this much. Let me look at the thingy again. We did a vote between the 11th, sorry, sorry, <laughs> the 21st, the 22nd, and the 23rd. I said 11th because there's 11 reactions to one of them. Right now, the 21st is winning. Yesterday, the 22nd was winning. Um, so it's probably going to be the 21st or the 22nd of February. Um, but we don't have that decision finalized yet. So, anyway. Oh, C, here's an important question. It's your build. So you let me know, or it's for your sims, I mean. Do you want laundry? Would you use it, or would it would it be, like, agitating for you to have laundry? No? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. No laundry. The answer is no on the laundry stuff, chat. <laughs> laundry is pain. Okay. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> that is so fair enough. Totally get it. <laughs> Okay, let's put some cute little things. Maybe you could be like brightly colored. Yeah, I always like the idea of laundry and I'll like start off using laundry with my Sims and then I end up getting rid of it. Is usually like the way that it goes for me. Um, we start with it and then we end up being like, now I'm done. <laughs> no, that's enough actually. I, uh, I did it in my Legacy Challenge house on YouTube recently. I had it and then I said, mm, that's enough. Okay, we've, we've done it now. <laughs> we've had the laundry. So. Anyway, laundry is fun. It's just kind of an annoying chore and the Sims are kind of like glitchy with it. If the Sims weren't so glitchy with it, it wouldn't be so bad, but they're not the like the best at doing the laundry. So it makes it kind of annoying to use. I feel like. Um, you got your new Kindle today. Oh, Bexy, my Kindle is truly one of my most prized possessions. I bought it in July. It's been, I had a Kindle a long time ago, but she was from like 2012 or something. So, you know, <laughs> it's an old one. Um, but having it, having a Kindle again is so good. I, I really, really like having an e-reader. It's so small, you can pack it anywhere. You can put multiple books on it. Like, it's so good. Cause I'm the kind of person that like, I haven't flown to like the UK in a while cause Dan's not there anymore. So it's not long distance anymore. But like, I was the kind of person that would have to like bring, I would read like two books on the flight. <laughs> like I would finish two books on the plane. And then there's like, you know, when you're coming back and on the way. So like all of that having to, bring around books like that is an annoyance <laughs> when you're going places because it's like so much. Um, so anyway, um, it's really nice to have an e-reader because you can bring it so much easier. Um, okay, nice. Oh, that's a good one, Tilly. Yeah, I've heard great things about the Kobo uh, Hope. For anybody who uses like Libby um, to, to get library books, um, the Kobo is apparently a little bit easier to use Libby with. Um, so good to keep in mind. Obviously, if you're looking into buying one of these, you'll like research um, what's gonna work best for you, but that is good advice for sure. Um, okay, Q. 
cute. I kind of want to get... Ugh, I might have to do a little switcheroo of this doorway because I kind of want to have a full-length mirror. Let me see the werewolves one. This one is like smashed, <laughs> which isn't really what I'm going for, truth be told. Um, yeah, we can use that maybe like downstairs. <laughs> oh, I guess we have a mirror right there though. Oh, maybe not then. Do we really want to have two of them? Maybe not. The basement treasures mirror is so pretty, but if there's like a prettier mirror right there, do I need an extra? Okay, so this, what I'm doing right now, uh, more stems from my personal gameplay needs. I don't know if this is something that C does, but um, what you're gonna be getting from me is, no, I want snow globes. Am I not in debug? Yeah, we are in debug. What you're gonna be getting from me is like a collectibles shelf. So. You read Bride by Allie Hazelwood in the span of 22 hours? Listen to this, I read that on Wednesday. I started reading it at like 5 p.m. I finished it that night. It took me like, I forget the exact time. It was like, it took me like four and a half hours for me to read that book, I can't remember. But I read it all on Wednesday night. Um, I don't, I didn't like it that much. I gave it three stars, but I did finish it all in a day because I had time, so. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way, Christine. I prefer Allie Hazelwood's other books to that one, but it was, it was interesting. Um, I don't know. That book is a, it's a very much an adult book. <laughs> very much an adult book. <laughs> so just <laughs> keep, bear in mind, okay? <laughs> just, anyway, I don't know, I don't know who's listening, but, um, Okay, I think, um, how about that? That's good. And then maybe I'll get a little tiny plant. Are you talking about me, Nell Bell? No, I don't have anything embarrassing on my Goodreads. I just don't want, hey, you guys, it's not so much about, I just, I hate that it comes up so much. I just want to have it for myself. The, the problem with like being a person on the internet is everything is like subject to scrutiny. And I don't know, I don't want people to be like looking at, oh, Kayla finished a book today. Oh, I don't wanna, I just don't really um, care to be having, um, I don't know. I just want it to be my thing and not like something I have to think about what other people are gonna think about with on, on Goodreads, you know? <laughs> Um, everything is like so, I, I share so much online, I just want to be able to have my thing and not have to have people thinking about it, you know? Um, anyway, I understand people's desire to see. It's just like, I don't really care to have to have that public too, you know? Um, okay, I think... Dine out... I might get the dine out plant instead. So we can mix and match the kind of plants that we're using. Um, you feel that way and you're not even in the public eye? Yeah, exactly. You get it. <laughs> you get it. It's one of those things. I don't know. Um, oh, you guys, I took the absolute... I can't even show you. This is why I shouldn't even bring it up. But I took the cutest photo of my kittens this morning. Sitting in... But they're in the window in the front of the house. So I absolutely cannot show it on stream. Because they're, like, literally sitting in the front of the house. But, like, sitting, looking out to the front. Um, but it's, like, the cutest photo. They're, like, basically leaning into each other. Staring out the front window at this, like, together. Oh my god. It's so adorable. It's so, so, so adorable. Um, okay, I want to get some cute stuff on this. But I don't really know what yet. Oh... We should put this downstairs somewhere, because this is, like, very useful to have. No, what can I put that on? Maybe I'll just get, like, a small table in the corner or, like, a shelf or something. I don't want to put this in a living space, but it's nice to have music. Or in a bedroom, sorry. I don't want to put it in a bedroom, but it's nice to have music somewhere accessible 
for C's Sims in case they want to be like playing anything out loud when they've got like guests over or something. This could be a good space to be entertaining in so far, I'm feeling like. Maybe I'll put that on the... I don't know. That way you can play music in the living room. That would be good too. Okay. You should hire someone to Photoshop your house out of all your cat pics. No, the problem is they're looking out the window. So it's like the view of my neighbor across the street's house. And like, that's kind of doxy, <laughs> you know, like here's what the across the street looks like, you know? So we definitely can't show that one um, more so than normal. Definitely not a good one to be showing on stream. <laughs> um, okay, I think... Uh, I don't know what else to put on this dresser. Do you want to have another fish bowl? Again, you guys don't put fish in bowls. It's not good for the fish, but this is the sim, so you can do whatever you want. Um, <laughs> Saying that though, this is The Sims 4, so who cares? <laughs> but um, I think that could be kind of a nice little detail. Um, replace their view with some sim scenery. There you go. That's an idea. Oh, I kind of want to get another lamp, like a standing lamp. Okay, that might be nice in the corner. Um, are fish not okay in bowls? What about tanks? Well, so, I mean, as long as, you know, it's a, the appropriate size for the fish that you need, you wanna make sure you've got like filtration and stuff. The problem is when people just put fish in like a little tiny bowl and there's no water filtration. If you're thinking about getting a fish, you should look into it and not just ask me, the person doesn't own any fish, what to do, but. <laughs> Um, you should triple check online with the appropriate, uh, space and, uh, recommendations for your fish, you know? Um, always do research before you get a pet, right? Make sure you're, you're doing the right thing for them. Um, I think that the, the problem with fish is that a lot of people don't take them seriously. Like they don't treat them like a real living creature. They treat them like they're kind of disposable, which is really heartbreaking. Um, so anyway, picking up your cat from the shelter tomorrow morning. Oh my gosh, any tips? Uh, what I'll tell you, give them some space. Like the day that you bring them home, so tomorrow, have like a safe room set up for them. Um, it can be a small space where like everything is, you know, set up. They've got all the things they need in there and kind of give them some space. I know that you're not going to want to because you're going to be excited about like having this new thing there, but don't be like grabbing at the kitty. Um, keep them confined to a room. Um, even if it feels mean or silly, keep them confined to a room so they can like adjust to the new space and don't like mess with them too much. Give them some room um, to like adjust because it's going to be quite scary for them. Um, I mean, they're, they're going to this new place with these new people, you know, um, and, and they'll, they'll adjust, but give them some time. Um, if they want to hide, let them hide. You can try and give them a space to hide. Uh, like my kittens, they are big fans of, of like little tiny hidey hole type stuff. <laughs> they like tents. Um, so I, I literally will drape like a blanket over the edge of a chair to make a tent under the chair for them. Um, oftentimes cats like to hide in boxes. You could like put a, a, you know, Amazon box together and like put like something soft, like a towel in it and kind of like cover it a little so they have a place to hide. You can give them some spots to hide in the room that's safe for them um, to make them a little bit more comfortable. Cause I mean, imagine if you moved to a new house and you were in this new scary place, you might kind of want to hide too. You know, um, when, when you first came home, you'd be kind of scared. So you might also want to hide. So you can like try and facilitate that and, and give them a spot where they'll be comfortable and cozy to hide. Um, and they'll, they'll probably really appreciate that from you. <laughs> so um, anyway, those are my tips for like day one stuff. Also, there's these kind of treats. I have Tiki Cat ones. Um, there's another brand called Churu, C-H-U-R-U. Um, it's like, a, you ever heard of a Go-Gurt? Like the squeezy yogurts? Um, it's kind of like that, except it's like meat juice. <laughs> um, cats kill for these things. They are obsessed with these little churus. You will bribe this cat so hard 
with this stuff. They are gonna love it. Um, so if you can get your hands on any of those, that's a super good treat. Um, they're like magic for cats. They can be kind of expensive, so they're kind of like special occasion stuff, but especially on a day one sort of thing for the cat, they'll really like that. Um, also, uh, there's these um, like fell away diffusers, feel away diffusers, I don't know what they're called, but there's like these diffusers. Um, it's like cat pheromones um, and they're supposed to help keep them calm. I have only had new kittens with them plugged in. <laughs> so I don't know the difference of like what would happen if I didn't have them, but it's supposed to help them. Um, it's like calming pheromones, but they're like, even the vet will have them in the vet's office probably. Um, so if you can get your hands on some of those, you might want to plug those in before they come home. They make a spray too, but I've never tried that. I only have the diffuser. Um, so that can be an idea also. Um, but we had those because it's supposed to, it was supposed to help them like adjust more easily to, to snap, like, and help snap adjust more easily and keep her calm. Um, but that could be an idea, too, if you have a chance to get your hands on those. Um, so, anyway. <laughs> Hopefully that helps. I've, I've gone on and on and on now about all kinds of things, but, yeah, I think it, I think that it helped, but again, I haven't tried it without it. I haven't had it without, like, I mean, I had Snap for many years without that, but I haven't, like, brought a new cat home without that, so I don't know what the difference would have been, but, um, Snap definitely, hopefully it helped her. <laughs> um, so, anyway. Okay, should I do that on the floor, or should I use this? I'm not really sure. She can be a grumpy old lady though, she's allowed that. Yeah, Snappy, she definitely has her grumpy moments and that's okay. That's okay. Um, Mom has a dog spray, sprays it for your uh, car scare dog. That makes sense, yeah, I'm sure it's a similar concept. Um, yeah, they make those, like they, the same uh, company has like sprays of the, of the stuff too and, and people recommend that for uh, maybe like in the carrier to go to the vet, make it a little easier. I don't know. Um, so. Okay, I think I want to try and grab some of this again. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try and put some of these lights everywhere. I like them being like doubled up, I don't know. I don't know. And then Perhaps we get a little mirror over here. It's kind of, I'm not sure about what to mix and match in. Oh, I like the blue and green on that. I don't like this rug though. Maybe I try a different one. Maybe I will try to use this rug again because that has good vibes. Do we want to get a treadmill? Maybe? I don't know. Is werewolves worth it for the build buy stuff? Ah, uh, that totally depends on, on you and like your preferences, I would say. It's, it's hard to know what you like out of this game and like what will be fun for you uh, without, you know, knowing what you're, what you're looking for and what you feel like your game is missing. But I really enjoy werewolves, but it's a very specific kind of build by stuff, you know? Um, it's, it's very like, uh, grungy, kind of destroyed, like broken mirror, you know? So it, if, if that's the kind of stuff that you think you'll get use out of, then that'll totally be good for you. Um, but you know better than I do if you'll actually use it, so. Um, Okay, I kind of wanted to try, I guess maybe the couch won't work in here. But it's hard to say. Oh, the treadmill doesn't look good with this gym equipment. I don't really like these. They're very, I would say they're very modern. No treadmill? Okay, C made the final call, no treadmill. I do like the punching bag in the corner a bit. I think that's good. Maybe I'll put a bookshelf. Yeah, they can just run outside, exactly. That's a good call. Um, oh, scoot that back so it doesn't hit the bookshelf. <laughs> 
Um, and then... I don't know what to add in, really. Okay, good night, Tilly. Thank you for hanging out. Brooke and Huffle and Goddess, thank you for the subs. Um, all right, let me save the game again. Maybe a radio? Yeah, we'll get a radio and we'll get some more plants. You know what I really liked was the plants that we had upstairs in the office. So I might try and use those again, because I think that these were actually, like, really cool. And you know what? We could kind of try and put those, like, a little bit underneath the stairs, because that area is, like, kind of lost to us. So I could probably try to layer them a tiny bit down there underneath the stairs. And that could be good. Took a video by accident. Um, okay. Definitely an idea. I'm not sure of how to lay this out. I might come back to this layout. Let me do the... This is going to become the guest room. I was thinking about getting a Murphy bed. I don't know if that's going to work. So I'm going to real quick look at it. But we were kind of talking about the Murphy bed vibes. Because I think Murphy bed makes for a really nice guest room situation. Because that way you've got plenty of space for them to stay, but you can use it as something else when they're not here, you know? Should I make it smaller? Maybe. Yeah, I think the Murphy bed's kind of cool. Um, what does that bed look like when it's down? <laughs> Maybe it's better if we put the, the rug in here. I don't know. I'm like a danger to everybody with this Murphy bed idea. <laughs> Lil Simsy must be stopped. <laughs> I don't know what she thinks she's on about, but yikes. Is it blocking the door? Oh no, the door's pretty wide, so it shouldn't be too bad. The One of the ideas that I had was to put a TV down here, but I don't know if that's too necessary to have a TV down there. What other sorts of like, skill-type items do we have? Oh, you know what would be kind of cool is ping pong. But, no. <laughs> Maybe a... Oh! I wonder if we could put foosball. Because that's an interesting sort of party type item. And then if you actually have a guest here, you could just scoot this. That's what I would do. If there was actually going to be somebody staying in this room, I'd just move that over. That could be kind of fun. I don't really use the foosball table that often. I feel like that would be cool to have. We need to get some music. Probably put music in both the rooms. Um... Maybe like, oh, you know what would be kind of good? Oh, you gotta be careful though with this. I'm like wondering if um, that's like a TV and a radio and a bookshelf. You can't really see the TV that well, but it kind of becomes like a party room. And you know, in real life, you'd probably leave these barn doors open a lot unless you have a guest who's staying over and trying to sleep in there, you know? Um, and then you might like, close them off, but, um, you probably keep them open most times, right? So that way you can just have the whole basement open. I could see that happening. Okay, what if they had a, like, huge cow? Oh, this doesn't really size up that well. We want a cool poster. I might actually look at some of the stuff from high school years because high school years does have a cow plant tapestry. And I'm not opposed to such things. Okay, it can't be sized up. Huh. Okay. That seems good though. That's a llama, not a cow plant, but there are 
The cow plant one is darker, but the I think the llama one is better. You know? Um... I don't know, that seems like a nice- we've got a lot of stuff for entertaining in this house. Oh, and it's got the moon! Oh, that's really cool, actually. Cause it's, you know, it's the werewolf place, so the moon stuff is kinda cool. That totally fits the vibes, I would say, of this house. You're right, good call. Good call. I might stick this over here, kinda next to it. Okay. I'm thinking I want to get some of the board games. I know I had used one set of them up here, but I might put a couple more board games in these cabinets because I could so see that in real life, like storing board games in this room because maybe you have people over a lot and you want to be able to put up, I guess I'll use the two that we haven't used yet. But we want to have some fun stuff for them to play. Somebody said mini fridge. Oh, a mini fridge isn't a terrible idea. I also saw some people suggesting we put like a wardrobe down here, but I don't know if we need that. Let me look at the industrial loft kit. We could scoot that like way back into the wall because there's nothing out there. <laughs> that doesn't really fit though. So probably not. Yeah, I could see the Moonwood Collective playing board games together. I totally like that idea. I think that's kind of cute. What about from... it's university. No, it's not. It's high school years. I'm thinking this sort of chair. Hopefully not in too much of the way. Could do it in green. I guess we could just put it in the corner. Kind of next to this. So there's space for you to sit. Dunno. Do we have a dart board? Oh, we do have darts. I'm I'm kind of worried about putting those because obviously you need like quite a bit of space for that. So it'd have to be out here. And I'm worried about it taking up too much room. Um, is the bed accessible? So Layla, I'm building this to fill in the room. The bed is bigger than this, but my thought is if you actually wanted a guest to stay here, you would like scoot stuff back just like you would in real life. Like, can you really, if you have a pull out couch in your house, can you right now without moving anything, pull out the couch from the pull out couch? Cause at my parents' house, they have a pull out couch and you cannot pull it out right now. There's a coffee table in the way, you know? So I think it's fine to have to move a little bit and like scoot stuff for the pull out bed, you know? Um, cause my parents' house, you gotta move the coffee table. So I think that's normal. Um, and it makes it, it's a better use of the space than just having it be like wide open, you know? Um, I think that's kind of realistic. I'm not sure about the gym. I'm gonna do this room first. This is the werewolf room where you can lock them in times of, uh, bad. <laughs> it's for when they're, when they're rampaging. Um, so we'll get like a, a light bulb on the wall and then honestly this one with the caution stuff is probably good I mean we could use the kind of destroyed flooring we don't want to put anything that can break the idea is literally just to have this and have like scratches everywhere um because they can't do anything when they're rampaging we can use some of the wall decals because they have like do any of these look like they're squished, smashed? Oh, peeling wallpaper is kind of fun. We could put a little bit of peeling wallpaper in the living room. I think that some of the stuff from, um, oh, maybe they like punched the wall. I actually think that some, is that gonna taunt them? A moon decal? <laughs> I was gonna- I keep trying to speak and then distracting myself. I think that, um, oh, ceiling fan. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Get back together, Kayla. Oh! Shelves. Oh my god. Um, the broken mirror isn't too bad of an idea, because they can't actually break that more. They can watch themselves in their chaos. Um, Jungle Adventure is the one that has, like, the huge cracks in the wall. At least if I remember correctly. Um, and I, yeah, 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 okay. So, 
these might be somewhat interesting. Because maybe that looks like the... I don't know, the wolf somehow really smashed the wall. We can get a, a scratched picture of Vlad too, I would say. And that might also be good. What else would you guys put in the rage rooms? Oh, the, I mean, metal might be interesting too. Maybe I do metal on this wall. Um, Cause that'll blend in with the wallpaper. Punching bag? You want me to get another punching bag? <laughs> Hmm, I don't want to put too much furniture that they can destroy though because you guys the idea of this is that you will literally lock them in there when they're rampaging so they can't destroy too much stuff. Um, so we don't want to like, they really can't do anything while they're rampaging like all they can really do is just break stuff like when you talk about activities. They, they can't really like when you click on stuff they can't do it for the most part during a rampage. So, um, I guess I can make it a bit smaller, which might help. Um, I don't know if I want the mirror. Bed? Well, so the, that's just another thing that they can scratch, though. You guys, I'm being serious when I say just, like, anything that they can scratch and break is probably not the right vibes. Um, I'm not opposed to putting squeaky toys in here. We did kind of talk about that. Yeah, they can sleep on the floor, so they don't actually need a bed. Like, this is all stuff that's important to consider. Um, we can give them some squeaky toys. So they can get their anger out. <laughs> yeah, they'll, like, destroy stuff, you guys. Like, for real destroy stuff when they're um, in their rampage modes. So we just have to be prepared for that. They can have the newspaper on the floor. Um, and then you have to repair it if they destroy stuff and that's no good. Maybe we could put a food bowl for them. <laughs> I don't know. They can't actually eat out of that. It's just pretend, but we can pretend. Um, do you think they could scratch the metal? This is like a serious question. Do you think it would be possible for them to scratch the metal? I can scuff up the floor, yes? Okay. We can do some of the werewolf scratches in the metal then. That's the floor scratch, oops, sorry. That's kind of a scary thought. Like, the metal even being scratched. Um, can they use the squeaky toys? I don't think so. This is kind of just about the vibes, you know? We're like, to a certain extent, just pretending here. The sound of that is giving me the ick. The sound, like the thought of like the metal getting scratched is like, ugh. <laughs> you know, it like, it's like actually making me cringe a little bit just thinking about it. <laughs> okay. I don't know how much more we should put in there. You think I put metal paper? Oh, I did put some in the gym by accident. That's true. I don't hate that though. I might put some metal on this wall. I'd be okay with using that in a couple places. We might want to get some more floor scratches. I'm okay with a couple more of these. What all do you, oh, wrong thing. Those are quite big. I don't know if those look good. Okay. Let's think about this room a bit more, the gym space. So, maybe like, 
I guess I'm okay with the punching bag being like kind of in the middle of the room. I guess that one is okay, kind of over there in the corner then. And then this one could kind of go in the corner also. And that's not too bad. Is it from, is it like get to work? The one that has the, no, I'm thinking about, it's like, you know the gym floor, those like, it's like puzzle pieces. There is a rug that looks like that, right? I know there's an actual flooring, but there's also a rug that looks like that. I just can't remember what pack. Is it, oh, is it just base game? Oh yeah, it's just a base game, like unlockable. Okay. Oh my. I know you said green, but that's a bit much even for me. <laughs> That's a bit on the much side for me, arguably. I don't know. Wicked and Moana 2 are releasing on the same day. Are they? Oh my god, I'm out of the loop. I hadn't heard about the Moana 2 release date. I didn't know they were like that close to that. Um, oh my god. <laughs> it is like Barbenheimer, but maybe more fun because I actually am interested in watching both of those films. I'm not trying to watch Oppenheimer, that's not for me. I'm not the target audience for that one. Okay, I don't know what else to put in here. I think it might be good to have some more plants. I also saw some people saying radiators, and I think it might be kind of cute to have a radiator or two. We could even use the kind of like destroyed one a little bit, because that fits the destroyed house energy slightly. And that gives us like some more decorations in a few places, you know? Um, and that's also good. You weren't even aware of Moana 2? Yeah, they announced it. I feel like they announced it very recently. So it's not just you who didn't know. It's, it's uh, some recent news. Very recent news. Okay, maybe I'll get the small one. For this room. Yeah, the radiators are functional. Um, they'll actually turn on if it's if you've got like the season's thermostat. Oh, speaking of which, did I put a thermostat anywhere? We need a thermostat. Oh, I did, I put it here. Okay. That's good. Um do I want any more of those? I want to get the the big one, I think, and put the big one here. Oh, that helps. It gives us like more stuff there. Um, alarm right outside a rage room. Oh, <laughs> that's a good idea actually. We should put, let's get an alarm. It's a fire alarm, but you know, let's say it's a, a rampage alarm. <laughs> I'll put one in, in the kitchen too, probably. Um, Okay, good, good. You know what else we could do, which might be better, is if we look at some of the lighting. I'm gonna bring a sim here so we can like really change the, the lighting and really customize stuff. But you know, like this thing? Imagine if I made that like a red color. That also, honestly, putting that out here and painting or changing it to be red as like an alarm. That's not too bad of an idea. Let me go, let me get a sim right now. Cause I'm making mess with the lighting colors a bit more. Um, Spicy and, and Vanny and Molly, thank you for the subs. Um, uh, don't want you. It has to be done. Okay, let's sell the furniture. Come over here. Stanley has a child? Oh no, that's for playtesting. I needed a child for me to test some stuff, I think. So, get to work has a red alarm light. Oh really? Should I use that one or should I use like an actual light? Okay, set color and intensity, this light. Oh, you can barely see that it's red. I like it in there though. I 
I do think the lighting change already makes it look a bit better on the inside. I think the color scheme and like how it's a little bit darker in the rage room looks really nice too. Um, okay. Let me look at the, okay, so there's a get to work one. Oh, this is the get famous one. Oh. That might actually be even better. How does that look in there? Is that better? Okay, warning. <laughs> Beware. <laughs> Beware of that place. You gotta watch out. Scary stuff going on in that room. Um, any wall lights anywhere? I'm like, should we try and get some more details anywhere or anything? It also might not hurt to get some more, like, pipe clutter and stuff. Just kind of, kind of trying to embrace the, um, security camera. Oh my god, wait, if I search camera, will it come up? Yeah, I want that one. Okay. Nor gameplay unlocks entitlement. Okay, try again. I'll put it on this wall. Okay, you can keep an eye on things. <laughs> Non-functional water heater. I don't really need that. All right, I'm liking the gym. I think the basement is actually like really usable. Um, upstairs, feeling good about it. The bathroom probably is my least favorite space. Let's think about the patio a bit more and like the details on the patio and see how we're feeling about that. And then we can come back to it. I also have to finish landscaping still. Um, and then we'll do some play testing. I don't need to play test the Murphy bed. We know for a fact that you have to move this. We're building it this way on purpose. Um, it's okay. I really feel strongly that it's okay if you have to move it in order to get into the Murphy bed. But we will play test the house. I'm just warning you, it's not gonna come down. It's too wide, so. Just prepare yourself now for that one. All right, let's get them some lounge chairs. Um, we'll start getting some cute stuff on the patio for us. A fire pit might also be a nice touch. I'm not sure what's best for us to use. I'm okay with the idea of like bright yellow lounge chairs. <laughs> um, let me see about fire pit stuff also. Should I put a fire pit like out here? Maybe I could put a tree and then we could do like a fire pit and some actual logs around it. Yeah, I think Moonwood Mill has like serious fire pit energy, right? So we could totally put that there and then have a tree in the corner. Um, maybe not show hidden objects. Show live edit, oops, I messed that up. Show live edit objects, okay. And debug. Bushes lining the gates for double protection. Maybe, I'm not sure how much to put. I don't know like at what point it's too much. I do think that I want to put a little, we were talking about making like our own sort of stone pathway. So I'm kind of into the idea of like layering up some sort of walkway for us like this. Um, Maybe I get one of these sized down so we can scoot it over a bit more. I don't know. I think that kind of thing could be nice so that you can get in and out easily. Um, am I gonna put a dumpster? I guess if we're gonna do a dumpster, the dumpster over here is probably like a good idea. Kind of in the corner like that, I don't know. Um, okay, and then I want a tree. We talked about a tree. Oh, also, a pea bush. I don't, we need to do a lot more landscaping. She's not really speaking to me, so. The more woohoo spots, the better. That, I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's the spirit. That's what you're always looking for in Sims builds, right? 
Um, maybe this one, but kind of sized down. I don't know. Maybe I'll use one of the regular ones from the normal game. There's also always like this kind of tree. The problem is I haven't really used that one anywhere. Oh, there's the outdoor retreat ones too, which are similar, but a different height. Oh, I could probably do that and then mix in some bushes underneath and behind it. Let me see about mix and matching some of, I don't know, I'm trying to make it look like a forest or something. <laughs> you can see the vibes though, right? Kinda, perhaps. Let's go back in a debug, put the werewolves debug. Can they woohoo in it if it's peed in? Yeah, they can and they will woohoo in it if it's peed in. I think they'll probably complain about it a bit more if the pea bush is peed in and then you have the muhu in it. Which is, I mean, that makes sense, right? I, anybody would complain. They already kind of complain about woohooing in the pea bush. They're like, oh, it's so scratchy. Meh. But like, you should have, I mean, anybody could have predicted that. So that's your own fault for not thinking before you went and got in there. Right? Like, get it together, you know? Oh, I should try and use some of these, because I do like the little flowers under them. I think those are kind of good. Oops, messed up. Okay. So that's scooted like that. That seems okay to me. Alright. And it's also okay to me if the bushes kind of clip outside of the gates. So I'm trying to blend it all in. So we'll try and like really fill this up with some more plants. And that'll help too. The fire pit that we're using right now is from Outdoor Retreat. Um, that's where that one comes from. I don't like that one there. Yeah, the plants would grow through the fences anyway, so it's not weird, I don't think, to have that. Okay, some more plants there. Some more plants, like, up there. Maybe I stick some of that down here underneath this. As long as it's not clipping into the house too much. Yeah, I think the flowers are helping to kind of finish it up a little bit more. Oh, these bushes aren't supposed to be here. Those are filler. I'm using that to fill the place in a little. I'm gonna, I'm intending to uh, size down and add to it with those. Okay, something like that though. The patio flooring is from Jungle Adventure. So, the bushes look like cilantro to you, do they? <laughs> I like that, that's good. Okay. Yeah, we've made it quite overgrown, I think in a good way, right? Um, maybe I'll put some of that back here. Fills in behind the tree a bit more. Okay. Okay. Any of you need to go anywhere? Maybe I'll put some of that back this way kind of fill in back behind the, tr the bushes. The low patio fence, this one is from, I think that's Jungle Adventure, I think. All of a sudden I'm like, well, I can't remember. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that one's Jungle Adventure. This build does use a lot of packs, yeah. This is, this is not by any means a limited pack build. We've got a whole bunch of stuff going on with this build today. Um, it's very busy around the place with packs, so <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> um, maybe I'll put some of that over here, I guess. I don't know. Oh, I think I do like that in the corner. Okay. 
how I'm duplicating items while having them selected. Oh, good question. You annoyingly can't do it with debug stuff, so that was a bad time to show you, but if you want to duplicate an item that you actively are holding and like have selected, if you just hold shift while you grab it, so like say I wanted to place multiple of these trash cans, hold shift, you can place a ton. Uh, it doesn't work in debug, but works in regular build mode. So you can like, if you want to place like six of a plant or something, um, you know, like a house plant, if you hold shift, you can grab multiple that way. It's a very, very, very useful uh, hotkey. <laughs> so um, hopefully that helps you chat. But yeah, hold shift is all you gotta do. And then you can place a few at a time. Okay, it looks good in the evening light, I think. So are we still gonna try and put... Also, do I wanna have like a little bit of a patio up front like this? And then have like a custom stone pathway up to it. Um, <laughs> everyone use code Lil Simsy. Oh, you know what? They increased um, the commission right now on the creator codes because there's a sale. So they increased the commission from 5% to 7% uh, for the sale. So if you're buying any Sims packs right now, you should use somebody's creator code. Mine is just Lil Simsy. Um, you don't have to use mine, use somebody's though, because uh, it doesn't cost you extra and it makes EA pay a creator and stuff. Um, so anyway, use somebody's creator code if you're going to, uh, but they increase the commission for the duration of the sale. So that is nice of them. Um, but a lot of our friends have codes. A lot of people we know have codes. So I would, I would just encourage you to use somebody's, you know? Um, so that way at least uh, someone's making some money and EA's making less money. <laughs> Um, so, okay, I think, I don't know if I like those stones. Should I do like a dirt terrain paint? Maybe I could blend it up. Do we have access to that mulchy stuff that they're using? No. I have, that's not really good though either. Hmm. This from the outdoor retreat pack has kind of mulchy energy and I could probably try to like put some darker terrain paint on the outside. Um, okay. I feel like maybe that's a little bit better for the outside space, you know? Maybe I'll try and steal a little bit of this. Oh, I didn't really realize that that was so much lighter than the flooring was. Oh, I also didn't notice that I deleted the fence. Come back. Maybe I'll put a little bit of that fence here too. You may as well, okay. And then perhaps I could take it and build this out right there. I may as well do that too. Shall I use the tire flowers again? Cause those are kind of cute. I kind of like them. They come in a light color, so. Okay. I want, I don't know, uh oh. Sorry for yawning chat. <laughs> I want to get some sort of outdoor light, maybe. This one comes in black, that might be okay. Will the door still work? Oh yeah, well, I mean, we'll test it in a minute, but I've put things much closer to the door than that and it still works, so we should be fine. Um, let me look at the toddler stuff. I think that the fairy lights will actually fit. Oh, they don't fit that well right there. I wanna try and put, um, oh, ooh. That's cool. Should we try and put some fairy lights like here across part of the living, dining, whatever space? Whatever is gonna be out here? I don't really know yet, but we'll see. <laughs> that could be good. Okay. Some cool lighting. And then perhaps I will give them a we're probably gonna want some sort of ladder to get into the pool. And then I think I might use like, ah, stone, I guess. 
I mean, we could always do brick as well. It's not gonna be that visible. And it might match, it would be weird to have brick in a pool, but it's the sim, so you can kind of do whatever. Um, you can't really see it, because it's like underneath the textured flat, uh, water, so. Rocky ladder from Get Together. I guess we could use that too, I don't know. Um, we'll have to see. Let me look at the pool lights quick. I want to have some sort of... light in the pool. I mean, there's the actual pool lights. And those are probably best to use. Okay. Okay. You're tempted to buy toddler stuff just for the fairy lights? No, I get that though. They're, they're by far, I think, the best part of this. Oh, that does look better. The rocky pool ladder. I think that's nice. How did the dress shopping go today? Ella, I was telling chat earlier, I bought a dress. I didn't think I was gonna buy a dress today, but I ended up buying a dress today. Um, so to answer your question, it went quite well. <laughs> Cause I did end up buying one. <laughs> so <laughs> um, that was kind of fun. Oh, I don't really like the umbrellas. Maybe I won't use one. Just go back. Um, so that's fun. Very exciting stuff. Oh, we had talked about on the exterior here. Was I gonna do a built-in grill situation? I think we should. Because they should have a pizza oven too, right? I think so. You bought a dress today too? Really? <laughs> like a wedding dress or just a dress? Both are fun, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, I did. I did buy a dress today. Um, kind of nerve-wracking, I would say, but um, yeah, I'm excited about it. I'm also like really relieved about it. <laughs> the more I think about it, I'm like, okay, <laughs> done, handled. We've covered our bases now. At least it's done. I'm not gonna show you guys the dress. I don't think it's a good idea to show you guys the dress yet. Um, it's like one of those things, you know how people say, I'm not pregnant. Stop. Sorry, you gotta get ahead of it. But you know how people say to not share your baby's name until it's born? Cause like, what if someone says something mean about it and it's like, you already bought it, you already, like, you already picked it, you know? That's why I feel like I'm not gonna show the dress, cause what if I'm like, I, you know, spent a lot of money on this thing today, and then you're like, ooh, I don't like it. You know, like, I don't think that that's, um, worth my energy. <laughs> so afterward, it's like a fun surprise afterward. It's literally like a year away, but it's okay. <laughs> you'll, you'll be able to see it then. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like probably, uh, best bet is to hold off on that one, you know, <laughs> show people later on. <laughs> no, I didn't show Dan either. Um, I'm gonna make it be a surprise for him. So only my mom and my sister, uh, were with me when I got it. I've only shown one person. I showed my friend Hope and that's it. I haven't really showed anybody yet, so. You're not missing out, chat, don't worry. Um, okay, shall I put an extra bar out here? Will I show Dan's mom? Yeah, probably. I'll probably send her a picture in a bit. Um, I got home and then like went live immediately, so I haven't really had time to talk to people about it yet. Um, Cause I just got here, <laughs> so. Thrilled to see how you keep this from him as the person who tells people their gifts. Shut up, Hope. It's true, I, I'm really actually quite stressed about it. I don't know how I'm gonna like keep my mouth shut about this one. Cause I'm the worst. Like I, I, oh, I hate how this looks actually right now. But I'm the worst though. I, I cannot keep secrets about things like this. I wanna like tell people immediately. All I wanna do right now is like talk about it and show you. And I know that's like a really bad idea and I really shouldn't do that, but that's like, it's just how I'm feeling at the minute is that I urgently want to show people. <laughs> Secrets are no fun, especially when you're like excited about something, you know? But I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna be brave. So, you get it, you're the same way. Yeah, it's really, it's so difficult to keep stuff a secret. I don't... 
Never gotten the direction anyway you want to plan together. Yeah, I still, I do understand that it's fun to have it be a surprise. But, I don't know. I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna be brave. I'm terrible though. When I buy someone a gift, I get so excited. It's like so hard for me to keep my mouth shut until like the holiday or until their birthday or whatever. Um, so. <laughs> You showed Matt the wedding dress that you wanted and eventually got in the first couple months of dating and he didn't remember that he'd already seen it. That's a really fun story, Christine. The fact that like you actually showed it to him when you first started dating and, and like obviously he didn't remember because it was so long ago he couldn't picture it. I think that's like really, really cute that he had technically seen it already. And like, I don't know, you kind of called it. That's really sweet. I love that. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I didn't have, like, a specific idea in mind or anything before this, so... I never had any of that going on. <laughs> Should I have, like, maybe this could wrap around the corner just a bit. Um... Oh, no, I kind of... never mind. Keep it the way it is. Oh, it also might be good for us to have, like... Oh no, we have light. I don't know. I don't love the outside of this right now. The patio is not really speaking to me at the moment. Try a different grill. Oh, you think so? I guess we could use the, um, I, the one thing I like about this grill is that it has like a mini fridge built in. Um, this one looks a little bit more built in, but I, I still kind of like the mini fridge they have on this one. You had to keep it a secret for three years. Oh, because, oh my God. Yeah, anyone that had their wedding affected by like all the, all this stuff with the COVID delays and everything, I can't even imagine. That would have been a nightmare. <laughs> you had it for so long. <laughs> that must have been just taunting you. That's kind of similar to like, Dan had the ring for ages and we didn't see each other because of COVID. Um, so we just had the ring for like, such a long time <laughs> until we um until we you know finally saw each other again and then he was able to um show me yeah i guess the horse ranch one might be like a bit more appropriate for the vibes if we instead of doing the like outdoor kitchen this one kind of has more of the like the vibes of the the place you know and we could get some cute um Planter boxes put in, maybe. That could also be good. Some handmade planter boxes, perhaps. I don't know if their sims are gonna want a garden, but they might. You're in the, that group, so. Portable bar, I don't know, we have a bar on the inside. That's why I'm kind of like, oh, maybe we don't need that out here. Cause there's a bar in the kitchen. Um, okay, let's start doing some terrain paint. Oh, your wedding got canceled three days before. I'm so sorry, Coco, that happened to you with, uh, with COVID and stuff. That's really, really, really sad. I can't even imagine. Um, it stinks when you spent all, you know, you spent so much time planning this thing and then you've been like, envisioning how it's gonna be for so long. So I'm really sorry that happened. Okay, so let's just put a lot of dirt out here. Dirt, dirt, dirt everywhere outside. Um, okay, cute, good. Your wedding will be a giant courthouse affair. Oh, me too, bestie. <laughs> uh, me and Dan got married in a courthouse a couple years ago. So it's still nice. It's it's nice to do stuff like that. Just just you and maybe people that are important to you or whatever, small. Um, so I get it. Cheaper too. <laughs> Um, is the terrain paint glitch still happening? Uh, yeah, should be. They never said they fixed it. I have not had it happen to me in a, probably a month because I have been exclusively uh, doing terrain paint last. 
so I've not had any terrain paint deletion problems. Um, because <laughs> I don't allow it to happen to me because I wait <laughs> until the very end to do the terrain paint because of it. Um, but yeah, they never fixed it, so. You had it happen like 10 minutes ago? Oh, good. Oh yeah, and the balcony. The last thing we have to do is the balcony. We still haven't done the balcony yet, so we will do that too. Gotta get the balcony figured out as well. Okay. That seems pretty good to me. Fill all that in. Okay. Um, on the balcony, what do you all think? We have so much already outside that I'm like, I don't even know what else to put on the balcony up here. You just got here and tried to watch the VOD of this stream, but can't? Oh, weird, Ty. I don't know why that's happening. Um, I, I mean, I didn't change any settings or anything. Maybe it's just like not loading right. It could be a Twitch problem. Oh, I was gonna put a telescope. That was my number one goal, was to have a telescope. Otherwise, I don't know what else. Um, <gasps> no. No, 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 no. Ah! Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> QK, Philip, Isabella, Corinna, Goosey, thank you for the subs. Oh no. <laughs> that was quite scary. I didn't like it. Um, these won't really go up there, will they? Hot tub. Do you think a hot tub is going to be too big? Too big and too much? Because I'm not really opposed to it. It is, it does take up a lot of the room up here. It takes up like all of the room up here. It's only a small walking space. I don't know if that's the best thing to do. It might be kind of fun though. It's kind of big. If it were like one tile bigger, but I'm not gonna change everything. I don't think it fits the vibe. I don't think the hot tub is right. Um, it's just, if it were smaller or something, I don't know. There's just something about it. We already have a games table inside. Like we already have a lot of stuff. I'm trying to look through and think about like what might be nice to have, but um, I don't know. Maybe some additional gym equipment so they can work out outside. Oh, you know what could be good is a yoga mat. We could do like two yoga mats so they can work out together. <laughs> Um, that might be kind of cute. I don't know. Um, I do like that one. Maybe I'll try like a couple of these sort of stripey ones, but that could be fun. <gasps> oh, the moons. Oh my gosh. Now, come on. That's actually really good, I think. <laughs> That's kind of like exactly the vibes that we need. Um, that feels perfect. Okay, and they've got another planter box up there. Yeah, the moons are perfect. That's really good. All right. The moon and the rainbow. Okay, maybe last thing I'll just, maybe I'll put a plant in this one so they don't have to worry about like growing plants there themselves. The other ones we can put plants in, or you can like, you know, put plants yourself, but those two we'll do ourselves. Would a meat wall by the grill work? <laughs> oh no. Um, I hadn't really considered adding in any vertical planters. I, uh, I don't really know if a meat wall is what I'm envisioning for this particular space, you know? When, when I say meat wall, you guys, in case you haven't seen it, I'll show you what we're talking about. Um, when I say meat wall, I literally mean meat wall. Um, this is from Eco Lifestyle. Your Sims can change the vertical planter to grow meat. Um, it's not real meat, and it's kind of scary. 
So I don't know if the wolves would be all that interested in it. It kind of gives me the, the ick. I don't know if I can bring myself to do that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I can't- I'm not sure if I can bring myself to use that. <laughs> Are there any other items? Like, anything else on the interior that we're feeling like we desperately need? I actually think that it's turned out really nicely. I don't know. I'm pretty proud of it. I'm- how much does it cost right now? 99,000. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, I can show you around and then we can talk about it. Breezy, Aaron, thank you for the subs. Um, so this is the werewolf house from the outside. It kind of has what we tried to aim for was like abandoned factory vibes a little bit. It's still a house, but you know, slight, slight abandoned factory werewolf energy. It's got some kind of cool shapes to it. It's got like the diagonal wall and stuff going on. Um, from the outside, I tried to make it look like it's sort of set in a forest almost. So I put a lot of trees around the sides. Um, in the back, we've got like a patio with a grill and a table, some plants and stuff, lounge chairs, pool. Um, we've got a fire pit over here. There's some cute planter boxes. On the balcony, we have some yoga and a telescope. We do have a dumpster, which is nice to have. Um, and then when you come inside, up in the front, uh, we've got this kind of cute little entryway space right here. So you walk in from that angle. Um, and then when you come in, you can go straight through these kind of cool bookshelf dividers to the dining room and kitchen, which I quite like the vibes in here. I think that it's very fun and, and pretty. Um, it's a little bit different than what I would normally build, obviously. Totally different style of furnishing, but still hopefully cool. Um, in here, this is the living room. We got a huge TV and some tables, some space for some photos and stuff like that. Uh, to the left, this is where you access the basement and the upstairs. We also have like a games table in this hallway. You can use the bathroom down here. Um, we have an office as well, because one of the Sims is a bookworm who's gonna live here. Um, if you go into the basement, we've got this cool gym space and then like a games room, guest room combo. Uh, over here, this is where you put the wolves when they're rampaging. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about them, you can lock them in there. Uh, and then when you go upstairs again, this is the bedroom, the primary bedroom lofted area. So they've got like a space for their stuff over here, like their clothing, they have an ensuite bathroom, their primary bed, and then they have the balcony access. So, um, anyway, that is the situation. Hi dad, I was just showing chat, I built a werewolf house. Um, let me see if my sim can use some of the most important things. So, she can get upstairs. Do you care to use my punching bag? She can use the punching bag. The kids can eat here. Clean that up! What are you afraid of? Afraid of? Something's watching. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah, I haven't built a werewolf build in a while. Um, so it's kind of fun to, to give this all a try. The big question is about the Murphy bed. I keep telling chat that the Murphy bed, I don't think it needs to be able to put down. Oh, you actually can put the bed down with this foosball table still there. Um, I thought it wasn't going to work, but it does still work there. I figure because this was like cutting into it, but you can put the bed down with it still there. You'd have to probably scoot onto this side because of the beanbag, but... That doesn't bother me too much. Um, so that's the guest room. Uh, so that works out nicely then. I, I figured you'd have to scoot it and I, I didn't care, but you don't have to scoot it. So that's, that's good. Um, and then I can lock the alien in this wolf room. <laughs> there you go, stay in there. I like this place. This place turned out, I think, quite cool. Do you wanna come use the computer really fast too? The table? We- I call it foosball, the table. Um, is the bathroom functional? Oh, the bathroom's not gonna have any trouble being functional. I'm not worried about the bathroom. I was more concerned about some of the stuff that was a bit closer, but the bathroom's fine, so. You wanna show the people the toilet? Yeah. No problems. Um, Polly's fine. These are small, so 
I didn't mess anything up in there. Um, doesn't the yoga mat have another moon swatch? Does it? I can see. Um, not that I know of. Is, is it the other one then, maybe? This one, I don't think so. No. They're scared that someone is watching. So, what is the other question somebody had about the living room? Oh, they wanted tab mode in here, right? Oh, I guess the only other thing is that we didn't put any ceiling paint. I guess I should pick a ceiling paint color, huh? Let me see. Um, hey, Katie, thank you for coming by to the stream. It's good to see you. Welcome in. Um, and thank you for the resub. Okay, so... What is good for the ceiling? I guess these are good because that's just like solid wood. You probably can't go wrong with that, right? You won't see it that much, but it should hopefully, I think, blend. Oh yeah, that looks good. Very wooden. Maybe metal? Oh, you think metal instead? I guess we could do metal. I hadn't really considered that. Um, try and paint the ceiling with metal. What does that look like? Oh, the metal's kind of cool. Oh, let's do metal. I always do wood. Let's do metal. Why not? It's actually cheaper too. So, um, here's the basement with that. Yeah, I, I think that looks cool. Okay. I like it. I like it. How do you swap wall height when you're tab mode? Like, how do I swap what um, floor I'm on? Uh, you can page up and down to, to do that. And if you press the home and end keys on your keyboard, it puts the walls up and down. So I'm pressing end to put them down and home to put them up. So that's how that one works. Um, and if you mean like moving up and down, like when I'm in tab, uh, Q goes down, E goes up. Q, E. Q, I'm holding it. E. <laughs> um, so that's how it works, if you're ever wondering. Okay, shall I put it on the gallery? What do we call it? It's a one bed, two bed. I guess it's technically two bedrooms, but barely. Oh, let me save first. Just to be safe. <laughs> Kristen, thank you for the 13 months. Just to be careful. Um, I don't want to just call it like werewolf house. Any ideas for what kind of, what we should title it? Two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Um, to replace Prowler's patch, the empty lot. Oh, I spelled the wrong. And Moonwood Mill. Okay. A an, a an old abandoned factory converted into a werewolf house. Perfect for a couple. Featuring one lofted bedroom and a basement guest bedroom with Murphy bed. That clarifies the bedroom situation. Um Abandoned warehouse. <laughs> Wait, you've heard of a warehouse. Get ready for a warehouse. <laughs> okay, should we call it a warehouse? The old warehouse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funny. We can do that. All right. Maybe I'll call it an old abandoned warehouse, spelled right, converted into a werewolf warehouse. <laughs> no, converted into a were home. How about that? I think that's funny. Okay. Good call, chat. You're smart. All right, I'm uploading it. Now we gotta see the damage of how many packs it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit scared to even find out, but <laughs> it is 
Yeesh. Okay. A lot. The answer is a lot. Could be worse. But the answer is a lot of packs. Okay. I posted on YouTube today, limited packs. Small build, less packs. <laughs> it wasn't actually small house though, but we can do this week a limited pack build on stream. Um, like a big house that's limited pack to make it up to you. Um, I, I owe you. This one is like 101,000, I think. Um, so it's not that expensive. C said 200K budget. We win 100K. 100K is still a little pricey for a, you know, basically one bed house, but it's okay. It was worth it. This one has a lot of fun gameplay items. This would be a really cool house to like have parties at with other Sims because it's got all of the things just by default. I don't normally add in like bars and stuff into my houses. Um, so it's nice to have like all of that just here already so that you can throw parties and, and have all these things. Um, I don't know. I think it's cool. So hopefully you all liked it. A little bit out of my comfort zone. I don't normally build stuff like this, but I, I had fun with this one. Um, so thank you to the mods for forcing me to build you a warehouse. <laughs> thank you to the mods. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, and what I do owe you all is a little bit of the 100 baby challenge. Um, now that we finish this build. So I will go and switch over into the 100 baby challenge. Um, I wonder if I could put... Hold on. I want to add a stream marker. There you go. Okay. 